Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, let's have a look on how to connect Sony WFC 500 TWS earbuds to the iPhone and the Android phones as well. Now, this Sony WFC 500 is comes with the both auto pairing and manual pairing method. And also in this earbud, there is a Google Fast Pair connection and Microsoft Swift Pair connection also. So now, firstly, once you take the earbuds from the charging case, it will be automatically goes to the pairing mode and you can easily connect to the android smartphone or any other devices for the first time so now i am currently connected in the android smartphone so and if you are try to connect in the second smartphone to the iphone or your uh, laptop pins in that condition you need to go to the manual pairing mode and sometimes the auto pairing mode will be works and if the auto pairing method is not work means then by going to the manual pairing mode you can instantly able to connect to any device like iphone or laptop now now to do the manual pairing mode firstly you need to take both the earbuds from the charging case and mainly the earbud should be in the on condition and even if the earbud is already connected with the one of the smartphone also that is not an issue now to do the manual pairing mode take the earbuds from the charging case and in the both the earbuds you need to press and hold for five seconds continuously i am going to do now one two three four five so just to hold for few seconds and uh, so in the earbuds you can able to see a blue light has been blinks randomly in both the earbuds once you get a like that indication then the earbuds has been entered into the pairing mode and also if you wear the earbuds you can get some voice prompt like a manual pairing mode or entered pairing mode like that uh, voice prompt now as you seen here the earbuds has been disconnected from the android smartphone and also these earbuds supported with the google phosphor so that you can get that uh, google dialog box uh, option and in case if you try to connect in the other smartphone like iPhone also in the iPhone once go to the Bluetooth settings enable the Bluetooth and here you can now able to see the Sony WFC 500 earbuds now just click this earbud to connect and that's it now the Sony WFC 500 earbuds has been paired to the iPhone so now in this way you can easily connect the earbuds to the iPhone and also this Sony WFC 500 earbuds supported with the app support on both Android phone and iPhones just to go to the Google Play Store or App Store and search for Sony headphones so just to search for the app Sony headphones connect now here is the app so i have already installed just install this application and open it now this is the app interface of the sony wfc 500 earbuds and this app support is for both android phones and iphones now let's have a look on what are all the features you can get using this application and the main drawback i am actually seeing on the sony wfc 500 is that so in the application you can able to see the earbuds battery percentage but you can't able to see the case battery percentage so that is the major drawback whenever you are playing using the earbuds into the charging case the earbuds will be automatically turned off and so that uh, even if you are placing any one of the earbuds into the charging case also you can't able to find the case battery so if i place the earbuds into the case the earbuds will be automatically turned off so that is the drawback you can't able to see the case battery even in the application also and in the charging case also there is a no digital display like that if the charging case has less battery you can able to find out that by using the red light or yellow light indication in the led indicator that is the only way you can able to find whether the case battery is low or not and after that in the application you can see the status sound and system like uh, three different uh, modes in the status you can able to see the what is the currently playing song whether you are using apple music spotify or uh, youtube music so in whatever application you are uh, listening song so that song will be listed here and once go to the sound section so here you can able to see the equalizer modes by default the equalizer is off condition only so i have set it to the treble boost because in this sony wfc 500 earbuds the volume level is not that much good so it has uh, some medium level of volume level only and apart from that the audio quality is original and you can able to 
to hear every instrument sounds uh, while you are hearing songs in this uh, earbuds but the volume level is medium only because of that i set it the equalizer to treble boost after setting this equalizer mode so the mid tones are slightly higher compared to the default equalizer and after that here is a 360 reality audio setup so this is also not that much usable in the present scenario because there is no supported apps in india to listen songs using the 360 reality audio support so the earbuds has a 360 reality audio support but there is a no songs built on 360 reality audio so that is the only drawback and there is a no app support in india so because of that even if you set up the 360 reality audio uh, you will not experience that 360 surround sound when you hear songs using spotify youtube music or uh, apple music like that you can set it up the 360 reality audio setup but there is no supported apps in india and here is a bluetooth connection so by default it is actually selected in the prioritized stable connection but select to the priority sound quality so that you will get a better audio effects finally here is a dsee support so just enable that so that even if you hear songs in a low quality also once you enabled the audio quality will be better and after that under the system option so there is nothing overall in this application there is nothing new and there is no major features on this sony headphones connect application and this is the same setup available in the android smartphone also so in terms of app support the features are very less to the users compared to other earbuds in the current market scenario and also in this sony wfc 500 earbuds there is a no dual pairing connection you can't able to connect these earbuds between android phone and iphone or any other two devices at the same time well overall that's it on this video guys so using this method you can connect the sony wfc 500 tws earbuds to the iphone or android smartphone easily by using the manual pairing method and also i explained some features about the sony headphones connect and some overview of the sony wfc 500 tws earbuds overall in my point of view in the sony wfc 500 earbuds the audio quality is giving some decent good experience so it's not a awesome experience compared to other earbuds in the market and also these earbuds supported with the application there is an app support called sony headphones app using that app there is a no major features and you can't able to see the charging case battery percentage also in the application so these are all the some of the drawbacks in the sony wfc 500 earbuds and i'll soon post a review of this sony wfc 500 earbuds with the pros and cons well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys